And today on the show, we're talking about how to talk to time. Yeah, um, talking to time is a skill that you really will need, both in radio and TV and in voiceovers, less so in podcasts because they are pretty much open-ended. Uh, but certainly with radio and TV, you have to finish a show at a certain time. And in voiceovers, you have to hit a post, you have to hit a junction. You have to, if, a, if, if, if the script is only for 30 seconds, because that's how long the advert is, or usually something like 29 seconds, incidentally, uh, then you've, you've got to make sure that that script hits 29 seconds. So even though there are ways to speed up your recorded voice almost imperceptibly so it does achieve the correct duration how much better if you're a pro and you do it yourself and of course you can't do that in a live situation you, you it's only down to you in a live situation to be able to do that so practice talking to time how do you do that um how do you feel exactly 10 seconds or 7 or 12 or whatever and and and, and for it all to make sense as well and and for it to be a complete sentence, there's no point someone says, you've got to finish this show at exactly 59 minutes past and 45 seconds if at 59.45 you're halfway through a sentence. That's not talking to time, that's being caught out, that's being unprofessional. So it's a really useful skill if you have to present a programme or a bulletin that's well, as we say in the business, has a clock end, a clock end. It, it, it has to finish at a certain time, as well as knowing how to shave off a second or two or half a second from a commercial voiceover script. Now, we looked at this previously back in episode 427. So you may want to go back and look or listen, I should say, to that. But if you don't want to, rift a bit about that then. Um, let's reprise it again today. Here's what you do. Take some copy which has a required duration indicated on it and read it aloud like you might in a demo and with a stopwatch to hand. How many words did you read in 30 seconds or how many seconds were you over? Keep practicing until you can sensibly get the copy in the seconds required several times in a row. And then take another script and repeat the exercise before returning to the first script and seeing if the rate and the rhythm you got are still there. Then go back to the second script and take a third one of a different style and duration and word count and try it all again. And, and a further exercise would be for you to take your 30 second script and elongate it so when you read it, it lasts 40 seconds or shorten it to 25. All of these skills that will come in useful in the recording studio because you're often presented with a script that is just too word rich and yet yeah, every single one is vital every single one of those words it's up to you to fit the words into the seconds in a clear and interesting way and if you can do that really easily and i'm not talking about necessarily the very first time you do it but certainly you should be able to knock that off pretty easily uh, the the making the words fit the seconds aloud in the third or fourth take yeah the first time probably not but you'll, you'll make a pretty good stab at it. But certainly the third or fourth time, you should have that down pretty much. But then things start to get a bit more complicated, as we will see in the next few weeks, because I've already written the scripts for these, uh, when, when you get into studio direction, yeah, when you have to hit certain posts, certain junctions within a piece, particularly with a voiceover, for example. So you might have, and I don't want to preempt myself too much, but you might have a documentary or a trail which has got lots of different SOTs, sounds on tape, with you dropping your voice and maybe a phrase or a short sentence in between these different musical posts or audio posts. Yeah, so think of a series of holes that you've got to drop your voice into and you've got to make sure you hit those posts. So therefore you've got to have some kind of internal timing, awareness and capability to be able to get in those words in that amount of time straight off as I say, after three or four takes. We'll, we'll talk about more about that in the, uh, in, 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 in the next few weeks, by the way. Oh, by the way, 
not saying anything or nothing, but uh, if you do want to contact me tomorrow, yeah, if you do want to, yeah, uh -huh. all right, you'll find out tomorrow. If you do want to contact me tomorrow, specifically tomorrow, out of any day in the whole year, you may want to drop me a line. You can do. On Twitter. T-W-E-T-E-R-S-T-E-W-A-R-T. -E -E From London, I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>